before. You know, he's going to be one that's going to have to come into calculations, I think. 9-1 to one for the Gold Cup at Cheltenham with Betfair. Fox Rock a 10-1 to one shot, but as I say, leaving that aside for a moment, a massive win here for all connected with this horse, Sean Kiley. Hadn't had a winner since September, but he, in terms of numbers, he's a relatively small outfit, and I think he'd only run 20 horses or so in the intervening period, and Carlingford Lock was one of those in the Lexus here at Christmas when he shaped very well indeed and he's really come good here today thought he jumped as well as he ever had in the main today Kevin bar that mistake of the second last we, he just got a little bit unsighted going into that fence he almost jumped up the back of first lieutenant at, I think it was the fourth or fifth last as well but he really got rolling coming down to the last and having parted company with AP McCoy in the flow gas novice chase of the final fence 12 months ago he got over it okay this time and went on for a gritty victory and winners uh, as much as others would but I think now that he's set the end point I think big wins like this are going he's really going to take him in and relish him because he knows that there is an end point now and that we, the date is set so I think winning big races like this is going to be all the sweeter for him he'll probably appreciate these ones as much as he's ever appreciated the win shades of hurricane fly here a fortnight ago with the rush to get a spot around the winners enclosure there eight nine ten deep maybe around the parade ring as this horse returns take a chance to drink in the atmosphere and the applause here as carly for lock returns in triumph until today that is in the 2015 hennessy carly for lock winner of the grade one hennessy gold cup trained by john kiley owned by jp mcmanus and ridden to victory, another master class by the one and only, the great A.P. McCoy. Three cheers. Hip, hip. Hip, hip. Hip, hip. And three cheers for A.P. McCoy. And the horse, he looks full of beans after the race, Kevin. We spoke about it before, and he's had a, a quieter season than some of these. It looked as though... They were going to bring him along steadily this time. He was due to run, to be fair, at Den Royal back in November on their big day, I think, before being scratched at the last minute. But he's been brought along steadily as the season goes here. Had that good run in the Lexus last time. Do you think that might stand to him maybe going forward? Yeah, I think so. You know, he did shape well an awful long way in the in the Lexus. And, you know, he's just been a bit stronger off the bridle today, you know, which, which would suggest that he did just needed to run a little bit. And, you know, he's never a horse that he, he wouldn't inspire great confidence in you with his jumping at times. He's inclined to throw in a little mistake. Like you say, that, that mistake of the second last today did not help his cause at all. But when he gets it right, when he, like, when he gets it right, he's very good. He's got a big engine and he's so tough, so tough. You know, that, that's, that's what it's all about with this horse. It's just his constitution and his, and his will to win and his consistency as well. You know, he's, he's, he's put down an awful lot of runs for a horse of his age. Yeah, he's a well-bred horse too. Most of the family have turned out to be well above average, bred by the Kenilworth House stud. And as the happy scenes in the winter's enclosure continue, cameras clicking. Let's go back to Robert and the boys in the studio for SPs and reaction. Well, there is usually a story attached to the, Hen to the Hennessy in Ireland. There was an enormous story today. Fantastic scenes, really fantastic scenes. A wonderful wonderful sight it really is let's look at the the smiling man he's very much in the headlines and uh, goodness me we're going to miss him when he doesn't ride anymore and Carlingford Lock has come back to form and great but a small you know smallish yard John Kiley I don't know how many horses he trains but not you know not that many gets a big result like this